Now, if you go on anywhere on social media, you will hear about everybody's hyped about Jade Cargill joining WWE and how she should join the main roster and how she should fight Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch, all of these names. And I'm here to say that she should just slow down and just go to NXT first. So the first reason I have for that is uh, admittedly Jade is a little green in a lot of areas of wrestling. Her wrestling skills, mic skills, character work, I'm not I'm not hating on her. I'm actually a fan. I just think it would be a lot more beneficial if she if she went to NXT first. Now we got names like AJ Styles that said that, oh, I wish I could have went to NXT first instead of going to the main roster so I can pick up specific parts of the business that would have helped me out. Now, if you have someone like AJ Styles saying that, someone that for years people were saying is one of the greatest wrestlers on the planet, if not the greatest wrestler on the planet, if you got someone who is easily the best produced wrestler from Impact Wrestling, someone who was in Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, saying that he would have benefited more from going to NXT, that just lets you know that NXT is not that bad. And I definitely think that a lot of other stars, like Ronda Rousey, for one, would have benefited more from NXT. I know a lot of people wouldn't like that, but in hindsight, seeing how her run went with the WWE, she would have benefited more from NXT, let's be real. Number two, if we just sent her to the main roster and we just started throwing dream matches at her, I really do not think that Jade would deliver on it. And I'm going to go back to what I said previously about how she was a little green in AEW and she only had like 60 some matches total on TV. She, <coughs> excuse me, um, she was a little green in AEW and she was having a hard time uh, producing really good matches with the women down there. With that said, do you really think that Jade Cargo is gonna pull out a five-star match against Charlotte Flair, against Becky Lynch, against Bianca Belair, against Rhea Ripley, against Asuka, against Io Sky? Do you really think that she's gonna deliver on it? Like, think about it like this. What if she, what is today, uh, Wednesday? Let's say in two days, she, debuts on SmackDown, okay? She debuts on SmackDown and she fights Charlotte Flair. Do you really think that she's gonna produce a five-star match against Charlotte right now? No, she's not. She's not gonna produce a five-star match out the gate. She, it would hurt her to go to the main roster right now. She, she needs to work on her character. She needs to work on her mic skills. She needs to work on her wrestling. She has a lot to work on before she goes to the main roster. Now, do I think that Jade is going to bust her butt in NXT and level up so she's ready for the main roster? I do. Um, but it's gonna take time. WWE has great resources. Um, WWE could definitely turn her into a star. A lot of people are just not a Tiffany Stratton. Tiffany Stratton was just thrown into NXT and she just delivered. She just got it just like that. Not everybody's a Tiffany Stratton. It is what it is. But she could, if she really puts her mind to it, she could definitely deliver and she could definitely be a humongous asset to the company. And she just goes to NXT first and then you know, maybe after eight to eight months to a year, she could go to the main roster. I think that would be so much better than just throwing her into the fire. 
but yeah, honestly, I I think those are very key reasons why Jade Cargill should just stay in NXT and not go to the main roster. There's no rush. We shouldn't rush this. If if we just throw her into the fire, she's going to disappoint. Fans are going to shit on her. Fans are going to be disappointed. Uh, and we don't want Jade to embarrass herself. So with that said, uh, that's the video. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment below. Let me know. Where do you think Jade Cargill should go? Should she go on the main roster or should she go in NXT where she should be? But anyways, let me know in the comment section. And with that said, get out of here.